it's very, very difficult to open somebody's guard and pass with your knees on the floor. You end up having to stand up. And to stand up with your hands here, he uses his legs, pushing forward, keep breaking the posture all the time. So there are things to be done to help you stand up. So number one, you can place your hands on the chest, which sometimes work, or if he has any grips on you, which mo he will most likely do, uh, will have. Do whatever you want, yeah. So this is a very typical example of guard retention, which Mark is doing really well. His arm is on top of mine, which that that what he has to do. So in a situation like this, I would have to remove this arm to try to stand up, or at least put this arm on top of this one. Otherwise, I'll keep falling. Every time I try to stand up, I can even put one foot up, but when I try to do the second one, he will pull me down, and I will struggle every single time. So in a situation like this, this hand is free. So you can hold the lapel, and starting to put pressure on to stand up, and he will eventually let go. <laughs> so, <laughs> come. There's two ways of doing this. You either can put the lapel, being nice, all the way on the other side, or you can hold the lapel really tight and use your, muscle, your knuckles here on the neck to try to stand up. His option sometimes is to go for an armbar, <laughs> which is, is tricky. Why? Because when I stood up, I went that way towards his head. Right? I jumped here. Now his guard is open. This hand secures here. Pull up. Use your hip forward and get to the side, over the leg. It's a very simple pass, quite efficient, just to be patient. So he's holding you, he came in here, you went in, don't forget to hold the lip up. Come up, get out of the way, get side control. Try to do that? Yep, go. Oh. <laughs>